वेलकम गाइस फॉर पावर क्वेरी पार्ट टू वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन लास्ट वीडियो हाउ टू यूज पावर क्वेरी एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ पावर क्वेरी सो इन नाउ दिस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी विल डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सेकंड ऑप्शन लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्रॉम वेब यू कैन कनेक्ट वेब डेटा एंड यू कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म वेब डेटा एंड यू कैन लोड इट एंड यू कैन क्रिएट चार्ट्स देयर ऑल्सो सो नाउ सेकेंड ऑप्शन विच इज अवेलेबल इन द पावर क्वेरी इज फ्रॉम फाइल ऑप्शन so here are here what we are going to do is we are connecting a excel file and we add some transformations which are available under transform option under power query and then we load it and then we try to create some charts uh, some visualization which is directly connected to the external data source so uh, right now uh, currently i am uh, having some sample data which is available uh, at my end and uh, which is an excel file so i'm going to link this excel file so i will click on this first options and uh, i have my sample data here is sample data so right now i'm connecting through external source is excel file and uh, let's suppose we have you can see in excel file there are uh, there are so many uh, data sheets which are available and you have to select the one which you want to pull it out so let's suppose i want to pull it out the first one this one right so i'm not uh, there are three options which are available here you can load it and you can edit it before load and you can cancel it if you want to edit this this window uh, this window in power power query is called editor query editor so in you can, in this you can edit your data you can add your data you can add, do n number of transformation uh, before loading into the excel worksheet so right now uh, let's suppose uh, these are numbers so i have to change the data type for this numbers if it's not there so i will take this as a decimal point and uh, let's suppose uh, i have uh, a raw data i want summary for a particular raw data then uh, there is a option which is available here which is group by so I, we will discuss about group by in this topic so how to do how to do a group by it's group by is kind of pivot table which is uh, uh, you you can group by and you can submit all uh, with a ca category so let me show you with an example so let's suppose i want to use a group by option so i want to uh, first option is uh, you want to group by the the let's suppose i want to group by region and i want to sum number of units then i will select operation and then i select the number of column number of column is unit let's suppose i want to add one more then i will to uh, i will name this as unit sum and this one is total sum now once you click on this you can see you can you can easily see the summarize view of particular data you not need to uh, do some any kind of visualization any kind of any kind of uh, hard transformation in this and you can easily transform let's suppose you want to add one more layer here so you can add it you can uh, go to this option setting options and where you can find and i want to add i want to add uh, this one also so now you can see the uh, it is uh, segregated into the few columns now let's suppose i want to add one more column here and uh, I, i can right click on it and i can easily add remove duplicate columns and pivot tables add so if you want to add it add a column here so you can add it a column here let's suppose so column name will be column name is percentage uh, so uh, i want to take out the cost for a particular unit uh, which is sold so per unit cost per unit cost will be unit sum divided by not the unit sum it's a total sum total sum divided by unit sum so it will take me out the percentage uh, the the amount which is sell per unit the amount of the cost so you can see we can get the cost easily here so now you can you can if you want to remove the decimal point you can change the data type here you can change the whole number it will uh, give you the whole number also so 
right now we have uh, we have what we have done is we have connected to the source we have changed the data type we have you can see the list of activities which we have transformation which we have step applied to mm, the most effective feature in this is uh, to mm, you not have to do this activity again and again you have to just apply all this step and automatically whenever the data get updated in a particular excel which is you which you link in a particular source then automatically get updated here also you not need to do anything uh, so uh, these are two option uh, one you have to you can group by and you can uh, you can add a column so if you want to you can uh, there are so many things which you can uh, add here you can add logics so it, we will discuss more in details in our other videos also so right now i will uh, discuss one more important thing which we can uh, add here is let's suppose uh, you want to uh, see your data like not uh, not like this you want to see your data by other manner so you can easily uh, do that also there are so many option pivot and pivot replace value detect data type and there are so many options we will discuss in later data stage so i will create a one more chart from here so i will close this and add my summary data here so now what will happen is uh, it, it will my data get loaded here in worksheet and now it is linked to a particular data source which is available at uh, you can see the data source is available in the website you can add your website add your add your excel which is available on the sharepoint any any location which you have uh, where you can uh, where you have to fetch data daily basis and you can directly link those file and add your transformation and then load it into your excel you don't need to do it manually again and again every day you can just uh, refresh it and then everything whatever you have done applied on the steps it is automatically get load the data on the basis of step applied by you earlier so now you can link your uh, a chart also here because uh, raw data to converting information is very useful to get some better business insights so now you can see how much cost have a particular region we have so right now uh, we can uh, we can add uh, there are some options which are available here we can add uh, region we can add rep so there is a filter also which we can apply so you can apply those filter and you can easily create our uh, kind of information is available uh, in uh, excel excel is a very powerful tool we can we can add so many things here and you can see i have added uh, a created a dashboard which is directly linked to a particular excel file which is not available in this and but but uh, we can easily use those those features here also so you don't need to do anything here the data is linked here and whatever you refresh it it will get it automatically get updated in our brief brief introduction and uh, we'll discuss um, some more topics which are available in the in this topic we have covered uh, group by and uh, these are more most commonly feature which we have used in daily uh, daily basis in our in official area so uh, so uh, if i talk about uh, uh, the things which we have available in merge append these are some advanced feature which are available uh, in which you can append a number of files and you can use uh, you can you can easily get other options also you can uh, you can get the same thing from csv also from xml file from text file and from folder from folder is is a last option which is available from file it's a kind of x uh, it's a kind of very uh, very very effective tool which is provided by microsoft power bi in next topic we will discuss from folder which is because is this is a very huge topic which we we can we can create so many things and we can build we can access so many files in one go and we can transform and load it into our excel in a summarized way so that we can get some info, meaningful information from the raw data which we are coming from the, on daily basis so guys thanks for watching this video and uh, i think uh, you hope understand how power query is very useful to uh, very useful to analyze your data on daily basis and you can link and you can uh, you can try your uh, try to do something else also by by the learning and learning point of view you have to try if you try to do something else you can definitely learn new things also so thanks for watching this video please uh, do subscribe and like if you like uh, uh, if you uh, think i am doing the good job then you can like and subscribe on my channel uh, thanks for watching